Where do relationships rank in your priorities? Jesus would say in Matthew chapter 5, beginning at verse number 23, Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Do you realize that Jesus is saying that our relationships need to be a top priority? He says, first, go and be reconciled to your brother. Listen to what Paul would say in Colossians chapter 3, beginning at verse number 12. He says, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Now listen to verse number 14. But above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Now think about those qualities that Paul is talking about here. We need to make these a priority in our life. Tender mercies, kindness. You know, it's one thing for us to be correct in terms of our fundamental Christian practices. But you need to understand that love and compassion and making relationships a priority is a fundamental Christian principle. As a matter of fact, consider what John would say in 1 John chapter 4, uh, beginning at number, uh, verse number 20. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen. Now listen to verse number 21. And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Well, what do you do with those individuals in your life that they fall so short of uh, the ideal? Well, one of the things we need to do is realize that we fall short of that ideal as well. It is the fact that there are some people we can't be reconciled to, but we need to make it the aim of our life to make relationships a top priority. Join us again tomorrow.